Hello, in this video we're going to talk about trapezoidal rule. So to begin with, let's take a look at a trapezoid. And a trapezoid, if you recall, has uh, two sides and a perpendicular base. Um, and then the fourth side need not be perpendicular to the other two sides. So the area of a trapezoid is given by one half base times h1 plus h2. Now, when we want to approximate the area under a curve, say for a given function like um, f of x equals the square root of x, and let's say we're interested in approximating the area under this curve as x goes from 1 to 3, and we will use uh, two partitions in this particular example. Now, the way we would do this with the trapezoidal rule is we would have our two partitions. So the first partition, we would take height one to be f of one and height two to be f of two. And then we draw our trapezoid here and we would be interested in finding that area. And then we would draw another trapezoid here from uh, two to three with the corresponding heights. And notice that we're going to count this edge again here when we go to find the area of this second trapezoid. So if we write down the uh, trapezoidal rule um, in its most general form, it goes something like this. If we're interested in finding the integral from a to b of f of x dx, well we can do that by adding up, so we'll take the sum, as i goes from 1 to n, of all of the areas of these trapezoids that we found. So we'll sum up the area of uh, trapezoid i as i goes from 1 to n. And so what this uh, turns out to be, and we should really make sure we have the approximation symbol in there since this is uh, an approximation for this integral. Um, what this turns out to be, well, what are we going to do? We're going to add up all the areas of these uh, trapezoids. In this case, we just have two. Um, but in general, it would be one half times the base, which in this case is going to be delta x times f of x naught, or the first point, plus f of x one plus the area of our next trapezoid, so that would be 1 half delta x times f of x sub 1 plus f of x sub 2 and so forth. And we'll keep doing this. We'll add up all of these areas until we get to the last trapezoid or the nth trapezoid. So this would be f of x sub n minus 1 plus f of x sub n. Um, and that's kind of a long uh, formula for us to keep writing out. So let's condense this a little bit. Let's pull out a common factor of 1 half delta x, since that's in every term. So let's write this as delta x over 2. Um, and then big square, square brackets. Notice that we have a f of x sub 0. So we'll have one of those. And then notice that we double counted these interior edges, so there's going to be two of those f of x sub 1's, and similarly the x sub 2's, there's going to be two of those, all the way up to this uh, second to last term, and so we need to account for that in our formula, so let's write this down as 2 f of x sub 1 plus 2 f of x sub 2, and so forth, all the way up to the second to last term, And then we'll go back to our very last term here, which is f of x sub n. And we only have one of those. We're only going to use that once. Um, and that actually becomes our formula for trapezoidal rules. So let's just label that there for the trapezoidal approximation. So there it is. Okay, so taking a look at the example we have at the very top, we could approximate the integral from zero, or excuse me, from one to three, so let's write that down, of f of x, which is the square root of x dx, 
using our n equals 2 trapezoids, and that would go something like the following. It would be delta x over 2. Well, going back up here, let's see, delta x over 2, we need to figure out what that would be. Well, delta x is b minus a over n, and we have the 2 down there. So there's our delta x, and that's going to be 2 over 2 times 2. So that ends up being 1 fourth. And as a reminder, delta x equals b minus a over n. Okay, so we have 1 fourth out in front, and then we're going to have f of x sub 0, so that's going to be f of 1 plus 2 times f of 1, which is going to be f of 2, plus f of 3, that's our last point, and when we work that out, that's going to be 1 fourth, and f of 1, well, our function is just the square root function, so it's going to be square root of 1, and then 2 times the square root of 2, plus the square root of 3.